driving. You know your car's about to break down any day. You need to step out of the way. God don't want you to drive your car that's gonna break down. The world is looking at the church to be an example, and what we've been an example of is the world. No, we need to be an example of Jesus. You know what? I don't care what my credit look like. I don't care what I do got. I don't care what I don't got. I may be broke, busted, and disgusted, but baby, you will never know, because I'm going to walk around with my head in the because God has blessed me, and God has blessed me. I'm somebody to tell somebody, favor ain't fair, but it is eternal. But listen to this, the Bible says, His anger lasted for a moment, His favor lasted for, for a lifetime. We've been made to do for a night, but joy comes in morning. Favor ain't fair, but it is eternal. And when it's on there, it ain't nothing you can do about it. So you know what? If they don't like you because you got on a new suit, don't worry about it anyway. If they don't like you because you got a new wig, don't worry about it anyway. If they don't like you because you got a new pair of shoes, don't worry about it anyway. God has blessed you, made you blessed and highly favored. So you need to walk around like you're blessed and highly favored. Somebody say amen. I know they don't like me. Yeah, I know they don't like me. I went to a, a church. I think I went to Amy's Eye Church and I could tell that they didn't like me. They, they had some de denominational things. And I, I love African Methodism. I love, I love African Methodism. If you research your church, the AME Church, and we go back and we have the AME Church, the way Bishop Allen, the way Bishop Brown installed the AME Church. Oh, black folks would be living like, oh my God, we got to go back to the base. I said, so, so, so they, I knew they didn't like me, but you know what? I don't care if you like me. Because the fact of the matter is, you didn't like me when you saw my name on the marquee. You didn't like me when you saw my name on the program. But I didn't come here for you anyhow. I'm here for you and for Jesus. I'm here for you and for Jesus. Don't leave that alone, Pastor. His disciples said to him, Pastor. And so the verse 9 said, Jesus answered him, Are there not 12 hours of the day and many men walk in the day? He stumbled not because he sees the light of the world. But if a man walk in night, he stumbled because there is no light in him. These things said he, and after that he said unto them, Our friend Lazarus, sleep. But I go that I may wake him out of his sleep. Then said the disciples, Boy, if he sleep, he should do well. How then Jesus spake of his death, but they thought, My God, but they thought that he was. He had spoken of taking of rest and sleep. Then <laughs> said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. I need to say this again. I said it this morning, and I never preached without saying, you need to know Jesus. <laughs> Here it was, these were his disciples, presiding elder. They walked with him day and night. How is it that you walk with Jesus day and night, and you don't know the parable in which he teaches you? How is it you come to church, 8 o'clock service, Sunday school, 11 o'clock service, you're the last one to leave, you here on Tuesday night for choir practice, Wednesday night Bible study, Thursday night prayer meeting, Friday night you're under, you cut the grass, Saturday you feed the kids at the fish fry, and you're back at it on Sunday, and you don't know Jesus. Something is wrong with that. You need to know Jesus. I'm glad you got a good pastor, and you do need to know him. I'm glad you got great associate preachers and you do need to know them. I'm glad y'all got some anointed stewards and stewards and trustees. You do need to know them. But baby, if you don't know Jesus, know them to be a light. I stop by to tell somebody at the name of Jesus, every new shepherd.